A huge event happened on the sun last night, around 2205 UTC. Something called a filament eruption blasted out into space. That's when a big string of super hot gas, called plasma, lifts off from the sun and shoots outward. Scientists saw it happen in the northwest part of the sun, and it looked like a giant arc of fire being tossed into space. Right now, experts are checking if any of that plasma might be coming toward Earth. If it is, it could mess with Earth's magnetic field and maybe even cause some auroras, those cool light shows in the sky. At the same time, we're also starting to feel something else from the sun. A fast stream of solar wind coming from a coronal hole. Coronal holes are darker, cooler parts of the sun where solar wind escapes more easily. That fast wind is now heading toward Earth and could stir up more space weather in the next few days. Right now, flare activity is pretty calm. Over the last 24 hours, the sun let out eight small flares, seven were in the C-class range, and one was a tiny B-class flare. These are small explosions on the sun that release energy, but they weren't strong enough to affect us on Earth. The biggest ones were both C2, seven flares, one from a spot called AR4079, and the other from AR4087. The sun has four main active regions facing Earth at the moment. The most flares came from a region named AR4086. It gave us four flares all by itself. AR4079, which was active before, has now moved out of view, so scientists can't see how strong or complex it is anymore. AR4087 just rotated into view and has already made a few flares, but since it's still near the edge, we don't know much about its magnetic strength yet. The rest of the active regions look pretty simple right now. Besides the big eruption last night, there were two other eruptions scientists are still watching. One happened on May 12th, around 12 o'clock UTC in the Northeast, and the other happened just after midnight on May 13th in the Northwest. No big explosions heading directly toward Earth have been seen yet, but they're still checking the data. The solar wind, basically a stream of particles flowing out from the sun, has been moving a bit faster than normal. It's been around 380 to 420 kilometers per second, which is about 850,000 to 940,000 miles per hour. That's fast, but not extreme. The direction of the magnetic field in the solar wind stayed pointed northward, which makes it less likely for strong auroras to happen. If it turns southward though, it could help auroras light up the sky. Earth's magnetic field has stayed pretty quiet, with low activity. The current stream of fast solar wind is starting to slow down. But there's more coming, a new coronal hole is turning toward us, and it could bring some new active space weather soon. So what's expected next? Flare activity should stay mostly low. There's a 15% chance of a moderate flare called an M-class flare, and only a 1% chance of a strong flare X-class. That doesn't sound like much, but the region AR4079 that just went out of sight might still have some powerful explosions hiding behind the edge of the sun. Geomagnetic activity on Earth is expected to stay quiet for now. But with the new solar wind stream from that coronal hole getting into position, things might pick up again soon. That could mean more auroras for places close to the North and South Poles. Images from NASA and NOAA show the sun with different regions labeled so scientists can track which areas are active and which ones might cause solar storms. These pictures also show the locations of the coronal holes and sunspots, which help scientists make better predictions about what might happen next. Just a few days ago, the active region AR4079 surprised everyone by firing off one last flare, an M1-9 flare, just as it moved out of view. That means it still had power left even as it faded away. Scientists think there might be even more going on just beyond the edge of the sun that we can't see yet. Another flare, a C5.1 comma lit up the northeast side, so there might be a new region rotating into view soon. Overall, the sun has been pretty busy. It's throwing out plasma, flares, and solar wind streams, all of which can affect us here on Earth.
Scientists keep an eye on all of it, so we can prepare for any changes in our magnetic field, satellites, or even power grids. For now, things are mostly calm, but with the sun, that can change fast. Keep watching the skies, especially if you live in a place where auroras can be seen. And don't forget, even though the sun is 93 million miles away, what it does still matters a lot here on Earth.